I guess this would have been lethal too. Well, then he would have fruitcake this. No, this is better. Oh, that's that was random. Uh, hold that. In fact, if he hits, if he hits the mirror knight, he dies on the spot. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Surprise! So today we're doing a deck with imitator. And Mirror Knot, terrible idea. Now, uh, I think this deck will actually be well. Now, Mirror Knot has a few problems. That's the reason why uh, it's really hard to find a competitive use for this. Um, first of all, it can get removed easily by Rolling Stone and Weed Spray. Second of all, you know, it doesn't do a lot of damage because, you know, the block meter, even if uh, several things get hit all at once, like if you have a splash happen, um, it's all usually going to just proc the block meter and all the damage that happens subsequently is a big no-no. Um, we are going to be running Imitator into Mirrorknot, hopefully get double Mirrorknots. The Mirrorknot also, the justification for in this deck is the fact that we're running early game Guardian Package. The uh, Forget-Me-Nuts can really make the Weed Sprays really inefficient. Uh, the Triceratops, once it gets to three health, uh, three attack, I mean, uh, which it does very easily in this deck as a photosynthesizer and friends, um, it, it will make Weed Spray a really bad play. The Mirror Knot could just be a way, uh, a sort of expensive, but, uh, you know, cool way of protecting your Triceratops and your um, Forget Me Nuts, which are going to be the main tempo engines of this deck. It also is a very big body for when you play Pecanolith. So running a few nuts, you can use the Imitator to copy Pecanolith, even to copy um, Primal Walnut, or the minion that is made by Primal Walnut. Walnut, again, this is going to be used to protect your Forget-Me-Nuts and your Triceratops, the important cards, uh, in this deck. Let's see if we can get some value out of the Mirror Nuts. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get right into the games. Again, I'm not running 3-Nut. I would have had to take out the Imitator. So I really want to see if... I'm only running two Imitators, though. really want to see if... It's, it's Imitator, Mirror Nut, but it's mostly Guardian Package Mirror Nut that we're testing today. So we'll see if these ideas work. If you think this deck will go 8 and 2, vote yes. 7 and 3 or fewer, vote no. Over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash. Bra am up, bra am up. Um, it looks like 1, 2, 3, but I'm going to look for a photosynthesizer. That's cool. You're in a berry blast. Second for Gormina. Hell yeah. Uh, so the way that you do this against Rust Bolt, unless he plays Teacher of One as he pass, we're actually going to be playing these uh, Forget Me Nuts later. Because, you know, usually he'll, like, have three brain, three brains and he's going to use it on a knockout or a weed spray and then you surprise him with it. So, this does get rolling stoned. We could just go double forget-me-nuts here. I think I'm actually going to... Let's see if he has the rolling stone. He does. God damn it. Here's Imitator. Here we go. Hopefully he's not running Weed Spray. Can we have answers? And we really are committing to playing the Mirror Nut here. Which is a little sad. Double mirror nut, got it on the first game, let's go. No weed spray. See, we didn't set these up. I didn't want this to take four damage. We'll start putting things in front of this in a bit. Or we'll just shamrock in it. We need a leap. Going viral. My life changed 16 months ago when I found Fry. You guys are so nice. Uh, hi, Les. 16 months. Hell yeah. Uh, so Shamrock at double forget me not could be good. Oh, yes. Yeet. I'm gonna get some of this going. 
I think this is gonna go here so we can protect it with the primal. <laughs> Forget me nuts messing up this play. All right, we're on a roll. I mean, we're doing six damage here, theoretically. Yeet. And more to come. I guess this is working. <laughs> I don't know how. Don't know why. Don't even know why. Um, do I bubble something here? I don't think I do, and he can only play one cost tricks. I'm gonna probably imitate like what this makes. So it's gonna be two, three. Is there a point in bubbling? I don't think so. I'll just hold on to this. I guess this can go here. Yep. It's running some random science there. Ha! Tomb Shroom. Okay, we'll see if we can use this next turn, maybe. I don't know what he's gonna do. Looks good to me. Just hope he doesn't have a Rolling Stone. That's okay. I'll probably end up, like, bubbling this out. We actually can't imitate a Doom Shroom too bad. Um, I'll probably end up bubbling this out and maybe developing something else here. But this is doing a lot of damage. Okay, so this just procs the block. See, this extra two damage that comes in doesn't do anything. This is... It used to not be that way a long time ago. I mean, 2017, they changed how the block meter worked. Which really just screwed. I don't know why they didn't just make Mirror Nut Bullseye at that point. You think two damage Bullseye for Mirror Nut and give it seven health again. Doesn't need eight. You think that would be OP? Maybe it would. I don't know. I think it would be viable. I think Nuts haven't really seen a day in the sun. Uh, just Doom Shroom Berry Blast. Because hell yeah. This is the turn we Doom Shroom that doesn't hit our... Our, um... Tricuritops. So yeah, that's happening. And we'll give this guy the cheese. We're doing really well here. <laughs> We're being so annoying. I wish this primal would have. Well, I guess the Doom Shroom is okay. Not really. We're actually doing less damage because of that Doom Shroom. It's very sad. Oh, there's a Rolling Stone. God damn it. Finally got one. <laughs> so little damage. <laughs> they just don't do enough. This is the problem. I still can't use this imitator for anything. Second imitator, we got both. I guess the first one was okay. Fun, fun, fun. Fun in the sun. Fun, fun, fun. I don't know what I'm saying. What is going on here? Fun, fun, fun. I don't know. I don't even... I don't even know. Must imitate or something. Uh, so what do we do about this? He can't really even play like a beam me up or anything. I think it's just gonna be like... We eat this over here. And we'll play one of these. Just to be extra annoying. Forget me nuts, me or not. That's the combo, guys. We're gonna do... I don't know how much damage this does. Two... Kind of. I think I'll have one health now. But we can play an environment still. But the, the thing is, he's proc the block of one health, and that the moment he tickles a nut, <laughs> pardon my expression, we win. Oh, we got tennis champ. Best thing ever. No, it only does one damage. Portal technician, very sad. Portal technician is also one of those cards like seedling that just should not be making one drops. Period. Right. We have something to imitate, but yeah. About that board space. Okay, well, so far, he, if he doesn't have a Rolling Stone. Uh, no, Rolling Stone's not even playable. I think this is guaranteed lethal. Because he, if he blow, well, he can block and get healed. That would be the. <laughs> the thing that he can do. Uh, need a leap. I think this guy needs to die. God damn it. And it's healed. So he survives. <laughs> Mirror Nut, you're garbage. It's just not doesn't. Okay, now that he doesn't have a block meter, so now it's gonna be kicking the big the big tuchus. The big tush. Yes! Yes, we got another mirror nut. I'm so happy. 
Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> he doesn't want to ping the mirror nut or else. I did fun 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 it fun Uh where does this go? Is the real question. I feel like we're about to get weed sprayed to the ice age and this uh, stupid cupid's gonna help the process here. Should I play around weed spray? I think I'm gonna play around Rolling Stone. He's running Rolling Stone already. I like Tali running around. I like Tali. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Random, what are those? And you can't even play what are those. You can't play Bad Moon Rising either. We have two forget me nuts. They're too good. The Banded Dead Lab. <laughs> Needed that about 80 turns ago. Yeah, he dead. He died. I don't know how we won that game. We won, but the deck performed terribly. And we had the dream, too. I wonder what the bets are for this deck. Maybe this deck will just go 10 and 0. Who knows? It's 50 50. It's what I thought. I was pretty 50 50 coming in, too. You think Weed Spray should make a comeback? I don't know. I don't think weeds. It really the, the meta on the plants. There is a meta. It's guardian. And as funny as it sounds, it's not pecanolith decks and nut decks. It is forget me nuts and triceratops. So weed spray is really weak against those cards because it costs four or it just doesn't kill the triceratops and just wastes a lot of time. I guess this is fun. Fun, 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 and fun. Dun, 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 dun. I guess we'll bubble this next turn, because hell yeah. Show me what you got, got, got. Show me what you got. Now we can't do a damn thing, can't even fruitcake it. He can lightning bolt it for three damage, that would be sad. No! Well, we played around it last turn, but unfortunately we're playing into it now. I think that's okay. Doink. He's rolling double threes. That's very nice. <laughs> so nice! This is really stupid, but I'm doing it anyway. Wow, 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 wow. Bum bum bum, there's the lightning boat. I'm just gonna set up my mirror nut here, screw it. We'll just we'll just ping him to death. Everything's gonna be fine. Do I play imitator here? I don't think so. I feel like we're about to get free kicked. Maybe I'll do this here. I like Tali. Maybe I'll just play imitator. He's not gonna be able to remove this imitator. You know what? Screw it. I'll wait one turn and get a double mirror note. He's still wondering why, why I put that walnut there. Wrath? Does he have a bungee or something? No, 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 no. God damn it. Well, it's still a two for one, so... I think we have card advantage now. Fun, fun, fun. Oh, hell yeah. la dee da da we are protected! <laughs> Thanks, Trapper Territory! God damn it! <laughs> Mirror Nut's too sad! Oh no, now these guys are just dying. Come on, Mirror Nut! Oh, we got another one, let's go! Here we go! No more Slocus Horn. No, 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 very bad. Bad, 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 bad. Mm mm, mm mm. He's gonna go piano now, watch this. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, it's control boo boo. We're probably running guard piece. Hopefully he's just running out of garbage. Why? Why? <laughs> Alright, we need primal walnut or pecanola. God damn it. Alright, we still do two damage. No, we don't do a damn thing! <laughs> he only has two cards now! Come on! <laughs> I'm very sad. 
All right, Miranut. You've never been more useless in your whole life. Look at this guy. He's a nut inside a disco ball. Oh my gosh. Here comes the Octo Zombie. We do have Triple Berry Blast in our hands, so the moment that we're able to actually do damage to this guy, he can be dead. Fun, fun, fun. Fun in your mom. Yeah? Yeah? You sure you want to kill that? Are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> Love to see it. But it only does two damage. Oh no, does this happen first? Oh. Why did the mirror not happen before? Oh, because damage happens before death. Even though this is on the left, that's on the right. Damage happens first. You glup glups. Uh, we have nine damage in hand, just in case. Gotta set it up. We, we really need a top deck of forget-me-nuts. <laughs> so we can delay the, the, the Garg Feast by one turn. Oh, we're one and no. My bad. I'm used to doing it different ones. Here comes the Garg Feast. Here we go. Here comes the Garg Feast. I think this goes here. I think we're still fine. We don't want to proc the block too much here. I think that's that's good. I think we're gonna win if he doesn't get Zombot. I think we're good. Because he's gonna do all this damage to his face and we still have two Berry Blasts left. See? It's all garbage. Uh, no, he doesn't kill the... Well, no, he, he does kill both forget me nuts. But we do six damage in the meantime, so we should do at least four and proc the block and then double berry bless wins. This is how bad of a card guard piece is, by the way. Hell yeah. Come on, proc that block. Come on, proc that block. Yes! Yes! We win. We win. I don't care. Bye, forget me nuts. I don't care. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. We win. Easy. First I shamrock it, you. And then I shamrock it, you. And then we'll give him one of these. And then we'll give him one of these. <laughs> I feel so dirty. <laughs> Mirror Knot is better than Guard Feast. At least it has that going for it. Easy, got him. Got him. <laughs> gonna go in the fail comp. I think it has to. Mandatory fail comp inclusion right there. Wait, July Got him. Ah, this deck sucks. This is one of the worst decks I've done in a really long time. This deck is hot garbage. Okay, I think the Pecanolith is going to be the redeeming thing. I think this is actually a good hint. Got to keep the Pecanolith here. Pecanolith. All right, so we do me me uh, Meteor this. Me the forget me this just doesn't do anything. We might play next turn and protect it with us. I'd love to top deck a Triceratops. That would be cool. Ooh, so we'll have double Pecanola, theoretically. Fun, fun, fun. So this is gonna go here next turn. I'm gonna do this here. Uh, okay, so we berry blast. This is the play. It's gonna be three, four, do it in the wrong order, five. 
That is the play. And the two damage will take the same. Maybe the berry blast is just completely unnecessary. No, but it means this lane will be open for the Pekano. He might have barreled barrels, we'll see. In fact, if he passes completely, I do this. No. Bruh, just. <laughs> just stop. Just stop. Oh my gosh. Bruh! Bruh! For real? <laughs> That's free. Dear freaking god. Please save my soul. Thanks, Fry. Okay, well, yeah, potted powerhouse, great. <laughs> As if things needed to get any worse. This is some bullshit. That's what I'm trying to say. Give me one of these. Watch him have final mission or something stupid like that. I guess this goes here, right? Us blocking sooner than later is better. You think they'll have a way to activate the barrel? Where did he got final mission? He conjured it from space time. So he got this for free, he got the barrel for free from buried treasure, and he got final mission as the single conjure that space time made on turn two. Are you freaking kidding me? We don't have a board anymore. Wow. Just wow. Unbelievable luck. Now what happens? I feel like the Pecanolith being here is better. We really need this to live and not die to some deadly BS. That was crazy. Oh, what am I going to do here, bros? Oh my gosh, the efficiency is just killing me. So he gets all the damage in now. This would have only been four, now it's six. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. You're a bad guy. I can't, bro. No, 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 this is, this is not. <laughs> what am I supposed to do here? Well, I can't, I want to play PvZ Heroes. He's not letting me. Stop bouncing my stuff, bro. Doesn't do anything. Here, take this. Enjoy. Man. Smoke bomb? Deadly? No? Okay, finally. That smoke bomb didn't do anything. Why did he play that? Yeah, we have Pecanolith on the field. Okay. Okay. The fail comp continues. He thought he was going for a lead. I don't know what he was thinking there. Um, so we'll take the extra damage here. Hell yeah. Just add six damage to this lane, and we're, we're set up now. We can actually come back and win this, which is insanity. Complete, utter insanity. He's trying to block this now. Uh, how do we do this? How do we do this? Um, so it's going to be Galacta here. He can all hear rain, and that way if he bounces this, we still have lethal. Big time. Oh my gosh, I forgot the potted powerhouse can activate from rain. Oh my god, that's a 5 cost 9 9 now. Okay, see the Galacta. Oh, it doesn't actually die though. That's it. Uh, raining this actually made us not win there. I think we're actually gonna win this game now though. Like, hell yeah. That's good. That just, just lives. We just win trades. He's just playing a bunch of garbage now. We have three health, and I think we come back and win this game. Unbelievable. <laughs> la 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 la. See what we get out of this. It's three. Five. Because why not? And what? Bounce a plant. That's okay. He gave us the one that draws a card back instead of the potted. That was weird. 
why, why would he give us that one? That, think about it. They both do the same amount of damage this turn. Ah. Uh, and we win. And we win. And that's it. And we won that game somehow. Unbelievable. Get wrecked. Guaranteed lethal. Hell yeah. Blind dancing would have only done one damage. Come on. Come on, Jet. Hey, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how? The question isn't what. The question is how. Unbelievable. Fry, this deck is awesome. Wow. So cool. And Loco Coco? I don't know. This is not a good deck, guys. Hurry the head. Um. Okay. I don't like this with the forget me nuts. Alright, it's a hand. It is a hand. This we are spamming on... Well, what is he going to do? He can't really make a proactive play on turn one. So I guess we save this for two. It'd be nice if we had a way to... Well, we haven't seen Photosynthesizer yet. If we top deck a Triceratops, holding this is a mistake, but otherwise... Pretty good. So we play this. If he has a Rolling Stone, it just means the... Uh, It means the, the mirror nut becomes better later. Definitely don't put both of these, because then rolling stones are two for one. Uh, playing around uh, Beam Me Up, though. It's really good there. It could be it's just a trickster deck. Oh, cool. Let's see what he has. Uh, Triceratops Meteor could be good. If he goes for Elite Play, we'll go for the Meteor. Black. So, yeah, you have to even that. Right. That's cool. He can't Leap, though. Uh, so, we are going to go for this. Uh, the cool thing that happens is Mirror Nut just ends up protecting one of these cards. Which is very good indeed. <clears throat> if he passes turn 4, I might just play the Primal to play around Weed Spray. We'll see. It plays really well around Weed Spray because it gets this to 3, too. Yeah, if he passes here, I'll play Primal. Oh, here we go. So we actually have a few plays. It's going to be Primal now and not this. Where does the primal go? Um, I guess beam me up happens here or teleport. He's not really gonna be able to teleport a guy with five. So yeah, it's this one. Now weed spray doesn't do a damn thing. You can rolling stone, but again, that just makes the mirror nut better later. We do not play this. Yes! <laughs> I don't know what he was going for in turn four, but he didn't have it. Don't know what that was. Yes! Ooh, we're dominating. Let's go. The Skelet. Uh, we have the Photosynthesizer, so we can do the, um... We also have this to proc the Dino Roar as the Bean Counter, and that could be really cool. That's a very, very dry Warlord. How do we exploit this play? Very dry. Drier than your mom. Uh, I think Triceratops, Photosynthesizer, Berry Blast is the most damage. And we can actually add the Galacta, too. Is adding the Galacta right now better? Okay, so two, three... Oh, we don't even have... We can't even add the Galacta. Okay, so this is going dry. This goes here. Because that's the guy that needs health. That's cool. 
And uh, we'll berry blast for damage here. We're doing nine. The man's almost dead. And very close to being dead. That's a five bulls, five damage bullseye berry blast. I mean, that's way better than going to face. Hell yeah. So now we just play Galactic Cactus and he and he loses on the spot. We can actually double Galacta. Is there any reason to do that? <laughs> I want to play Bean Counter so badly. <laughs> This gives both of the Triceratops a double boost. I should do this. Wait a second. Smarty. It'd be nice if this if you could play this with Raptors or something, but it would have to be Lima Pluridon. I think there might be something here with Bean Counter making Triceratops grow toys. Uh, so what's the play? One. <laughs> this is like the most lethal <laughs> thing I've ever seen in my life. This is so very lethal. Oh, this is lethal. Actually, no, he can he can block. God damn it. He can block, but if he blocks, then this explodes and actually does a lot of damage. Block heal would be so good here. <laughs> does he have a one drop? A rolling stone is playable. This also we have six bullseye to face. This man ain't gonna live, that's all I'm trying to say. You guys won the OnlyFans, huh? Maybe there's something there. I mean, Bean Counter, the Weenie Beanies could be used for Jelly Bean, which is arguably a good uh, follow-up to Guardian Package. I, I think I'm going to try it. And it puts really two Magic Beanstalks in your deck, which is a lot. And if you're running Lime Pluridon anyway, might as well do this, right? I'll write down this, this as a, a deck idea. It's going to be Lima, Triceratops, uh, Bean Counter, or Double Dino Roar. Maybe it would be better to do this with Raptors, so that would be a Nightcap deck. I don't know, we'll see. Then like jumping bean. Or jelly beans, I mean. I think that could be a good deck. Because the, the the little weenie beanies can you'll have Admiral in the deck too. So the little weenie beanies, not only when they go into your hand do they double dino roar, they also put bean stocks in your deck, and then they're also gonna be a base. There'll be a way to activate Admiral and activate Jelly Bean, a really yeah. cheap way, so the Weenie Beanies themselves will be useful. Is it better than Flourish, though? If you can use the little Weenie Beanies to activate things, I think it would be better. But you're right, we could just do the same thing with Flourish. How many deck ideas I've written down? I mean, I have to, like, ditch my old Google Doc, which has hundreds, but, like... Right now I'm on page six of a Google Doc in a in an eleven point font, just to give you some idea here of what we're what we're working with. Uh, that's a fine starting here. Yeah? Hell yeah! So this goes on heights. Player on trapper, and then this goes on the ground. Player on alienus. It's because it's crazy and beastly we're up against. This is a fine starting hand indeed. So if we have to protect this, we will. If not, we just develop you. <sighs> I'm probably just lightning this stuff. Uh, we're four now, right? Ooh, Bungie. Love to see it. So now the Triceratops is out of control already. Yes. Oh my gosh. All right, so if we give this, this will go to six, it goes to seven. So we don't we don't do it. We just play you. We play you, and probably Galacta. Star. Ah, oh, it's a really good turn three. Play. There's the fruit cakes. That's fine. Again, he had to waste, you know, three brains dealing with a two drop. Uh, we also get an extra card off of the deal. We have the answer to Bounty Hunter, which is nice. We have anything else to do here, though. You need a lot of stuff. Guaranteed. I can back it up. 
Nothing to do on four, unfortunately. Okay. Maybe I should have played around that. Wait. Oh, it was turn four. Well, I should have played around that. Let's see how hard he commits here. He'll probably go for the superpower, though. Um, so Picanolith is an okay setup play here. Uh, if we got a bubble, it would be nice at some point. We could protect the forget-me-nuts. Probably not worth it. Uh, it also makes this just do one damage, so... We'll do six. He's gonna be down to four health here. We're in really good shape. We'll be at... 13? Oh no, sorry, this doesn't splash. I was thinking Galacta for some reason. Uh, he got a vamp. Was that from the Quasar? It has to be, because he hasn't blocked yet. God damn it. That is okay. No, that's from the Quasar. Oh, he didn't lightning ball, he bungeed, right? I'm silly. <laughs> yes. Alright, now we're blocking. That was really unlucky infinity cleanse. Really unlucky. <laughs> Dear God. We might go for some splash play here. We can also go for the star fruit, but no, 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 no. I think this is good. The Pecanolith living and doing three damage here, I think, is worth it. Splashy, splashy boy time. Should I play around Fruitcake? What is this gonna be? I feel like a binary star. It's binary! Oh, we expected that one. What does he got? Nothing. Uh, so our guy doesn't do double. His binary does everything of his just dies. Uh, we're doing plenty of damage. That dies. That does one. So we hit him again. Hell yeah. Oh, we're in good shape. We are in good shape. Proc the block. Perfect. Why not Starfruit there? Because it dies to Bungie. There's that. That's fine. Thank you, Austin. I didn't need that candle up anymore. There we go. We, we should just be going face. This, this doesn't matter at all, right? I mean, we could go... No, well, we can't even play two cards here. Ugh. <laughs> We're going face. You can't do anything with two brains to draw cards, right? We should be okay here. I guess this goes in the water, so why not? He only, uh, he only rolled at one. Ah, he fruit kicks, okay. Draw a card. So now he's down to one, for real. I guess this would have been lethal too. Well, then he would have fruitcake this. No, this is better. Oh, that's that was random. Uh, hold that. In fact, if he hits, if he hits the mirror nut, he dies on the spot. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> mirror nut's dominating. Let's go. Hell yeah. <laughs> I don't know, this deck's 5 and 0 somehow. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Apparently, Mirrodot's actually doing a lot. Like, it's having just been the Mirrodot. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. 
Yay. Get wrecked. That is the definition of self-harm. Come on, man. Oh, oh, my God. This is so... And Morticia has no way of dealing with Mirna, by the way. Think about it. What are they going to do? There's no deadly. There's no, like, efficient removal. There's no rolling stones. Maybe I'll just keep double Mirna. Screw it. We'll top deck something to play in the next few turns. And we have all these cards counter in Morticia. Triceratops, no way of dealing with it efficiently. Forget me nuts. You just forget about it. Forget about it. Yeah, no, why would he front Mirror Nut there? That's a good question. Oh, look at the curve. Look at the curve. Oh my gosh, this couldn't be better. This could not be better. How would this be better? How is this even? Come on, Cat Lady. Come on. God damn, that's a good it's way above average. It just needed one damage. The fact that it gives them extra card is like... Honestly, or are we really afraid of leftovers? Not really. Mm -mm, mm -mm. The question is, should I even set this up or should I go for Triceratops number two? What is he going for on turn three? I don't know what he's going for. This actually adds... Maybe I'll just, just try Keratops. No. no, I'll play on Curve. Heck yeah. Ooh, Ragnaros Berry. Nice. Now what? That's what I thought. Doesn't do anything. Oh, he can alien ooze now. Maybe I'll bubble this out so he can't alien ooze it. Would that be crazy if he's going for alien ooze here and I bubble it out? No. What is this gonna be? I mean, it could be nuts or berries. That would be it's stupid, though, if he's actually running that. Uh, okay, so let's assume it's not. It's either gonna be some kind of card draw, chemist kite, you know, trigger treater. Um, loudmouth doesn't make sense. What would this be in that control deck? Teleportation zombie. We're gonna go with that. Yep. <laughs> Hell yeah. Playing on curve means to play on turn three, you play, you spend all three of your sun. Turn four, you spend all four of your sun. Playing on curve. Curve means how much sun you're making, which is a curve. It goes up. It's not really why it's called a curve, but. Curve really is called that because you run a lot more early game and then less late game in it. It's Think about each cost. If you were to put it on a graph, we need a it would leap. We need a leap. Usually, we need a leap. Um. Oh, what he's gonna do? There's not much he can do about this Ragnaros. The Ragnaros, I think, is the play here. <laughs> this doesn't really do anything. We can also go for this plus Forget Me Nots. Looks cool. I like the Ragnaros better. Screw this guy. We are protected! Are we 6-0 now? Oh no, we're 5 and But we're almost 6. Thank you, the Fire Skier. Welcome to the Fry Emily. Hell yeah. He doesn't have any answer to high health, low attack minions. Poor Immortitia not getting it done. Die, insect! It doesn't matter. It can hit any three of these are such good targets. Face is fine. Actually, the Mirror Nut kind of made him do four less damage. That's okay. It's still doing two, so even if he chump blocks this, it's still doing damage. Hell yeah. <laughs> I feel so bad for this guy. Now we're probably going to do something with, like, Mirror Nut and Bubble. Ass turn six. I think it's Forget Me Nuts time. Uh, I think this is good. Hmm? One of these. Yeet. And we'll give him one of these. Yep. Ragnaros intensifies. Now what? Extinction doesn't really do anything here. 
<laughs> like, what does that do? Neither of them die. They're still both doing four damage here. La di da di da. Second extinction event. Uh, <laughs> forget me not just messed that play up. I don't know what he was going for. All right, so here's four damage, and then we'll get six. Uh uh. Don't hit the bounty hunter. Yes, perfect. And here's four more. Roll one. Okay. It blocks the second shot, though. Feels bad. Okay. There's evaporate. If he tickles one of my nuts, he loses again. We also have another forget-me-nuts, so, so yeah. So yeah. Ooh, Vicanolith with, with Ragnaros Berry looks good. What is the play here? It's got to be 2 plus 4, right? Uh, I'll put this here. It's just another thing that makes lethal. And we'll bring this back here. We, <laughs> we. <laughs> Good luck. It's got to be Bad Moon Rising Zombot. That would actually make him win this game. Nope, that's not going to be good enough, bro. Somehow, some way, this deck is six and zero. <laughs> Mirror not, guys. I think the theory. I think the theory was right though. Yes, die, insect. Goddamn insects. Where the forget me nuts and the triceratops are making are making mirror nut viable. All I'm trying to say is he should not tickle one of my nuts there, or he loses the game. Else he's instantly a loser. Guys, aren't you glad that your nuts aren't, like, reflective and shiny? Because that would be really, really awkward in, like, locker rooms and such. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm saying that with a straight face. Oh, oh, this is kind of balls. Why am I getting rid of this? Why, why do I have walnuts? I haven't really seen the walnuts yet. We need something to actually play. Oh, that's good. It's that pretty. Pretty ding. Pretty darn. Pretty gosh darn good. Uh, this is actually the play. And we'll put the Forgormy Nuts behind it. Mm. <laughs> Fry, what the hell are you talking about, Fry? Fry, Talking about Fry, but. Which of these are better? I think this is the play. It wouldn't be awkward if everyone had them, that is true. But if only you have it, then it's just blinding everyone. Yes! So we win! We're, we're getting some bad. Nice walnut. Nice nut. I'm just gonna set this up if he passes. This is literally the play. Like, literally. Come on, give me something good. Oh my gosh, it's a fake splash deck now, guys. This is a loser. <laughs> uh, that's fine. Thank you, Shamrocket. Uh, we're gonna Shamrocket this turn, just saying. That's all I'm trying to say. Oh. He is Vampire! <laughs> no one cares. No one cares. I think this is fine. He can't really kill this this turn anyway. Let's, let's get the damage going. It splashing everything and the for the for the fig will actually be cool, so. I don't know. Ooh, loving your style. It's kind of prevents him from doing this play. We'll do, we'll do the splash eventually. I just don't want the splash getting bungeed and it just ruins everything. What's he gonna do now? He's gonna fruit cake this. He, if he doesn't have fruit cake, I mean, I don't know what he's gonna do. That's fine. He spent two to. It's okay. Splash. Wow. Oh, we gotta roll that one. That would be really sweet. Quite sweet indeed. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> nibble, 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 nibble. Just in case we roll one, we did. That would have actually added six damage. Good nibble. Very good nibble. He's <laughs> taking a drop out of the ocean. Give that man evaporate. All I'm trying to say. Oh, this is looking spicy because they draw cards. I actually really like it. Swimmer, why? Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a honey. The problem is if he kills this, it doesn't really do anything. Ain't nothing but a mistake. Uh, I mean, it's drawing us cards at least. You know what? You know what I say? I say screw it. Let's go. We'll get two late game cards off this guaranteed. So even if we don't do anything this turn, we're going to be fine. And if he can't answer the Pecanolith, we win the game. Easy. <laughs> we got double Hammer Shroom. Why? Why is this what we got? No, we've never seen anything. Come on. <laughs> oh, today with the fails. I don't know what is with the... It must be because we're running a Mirror Nut deck. It's because... Okay, there. Great. Congratulations. We're going to hammer this guy to death now. Nice final mission, bro. <laughs> what are the chances of that? Is the real question. Here's this guy. Just being guys, being dudes. Oh, what do I do here? Um, I don't know. We need a Pekamala. Just a bunch of guys being dudes. What's going on? For real? Okay, so we give him one of these. And this. And Berry Blast actually wins next turn, usually. Sometimes. <laughs> That's funny, though. It's been about one of one. Bunch of dudes being. Uh, yep, we win. BM value. We we <laughs> giving him some hope. Not even close. Get wrecked. This is one of the failiest streams ever, but we're running a mirror not deck, so. Are we 7 and 0 now? <laughs> Guy 7 and 0 with Guardian Package Mirror Nut, essentially, is what we're running here. I think Picanolith underrated right now. There's not a lot of weed sprays and stuff. It's just the real bane. Sometimes you have to play defensive. This could be okay. I guess we'll ditch the Walnut here. This is a fine hint. You gotta really be prepared to play defensive against Emax since he's. Sometimes a really, really fast hero. Uh, the very sad thing is how his Zmax super kind of screws this up. We'll see what he does next turn. Maybe I pass here. Yeah, you pass and play this on three. Because if he has the lightning bolt, he'll kill this regardless next turn. We're playing into Zmax super now. Is that a win? Is that a win for 8 0 with the Mirror Nut deck? Screw it. Okay, if we lose the next two games, just for the bets, if we lose the next two games, I'll play a game 11 to decide it. Because really, for bets, that should not count, but for the stream, it does count. So if we win one of the next two games, I have to go. I don't have time. I have to leave him somewhere. We have to go somewhere in like 20 minutes. So. <laughs> Mirror Nut S tier. Honestly, this deck would be a lot better without the mirror nuts. <laughs> or the or the imitator. It's the whole point of the deck. Makes it worse. The mirror nuts have been fine though. They haven't been terrible. They're winning games. That's all you need them to do. I love this. I love to see it. I'm really looking for I don't think there's sometimes you have a fast brainstorm deck, but okay, this is really good now. One, two, and into Bacanalith. Well, we'll, we'll draw into it. We have plenty of 
of playable cards here. So it's probably the same one. This is fine. It's aggro, so we're gonna play defensive. Let's see what happens here. Uh, so what is that? It's either Conga Newspaper or Conga Newspaper um, What's the brainy one? Teleportation Zombie or Drone Engineer. It's probably Teleportation Zombie. We have a bunch of interesting plays we can do here. The Forget-Me-Nuts doesn't actually do anything. But it's around for now. Well, we want to surprise him with this next turn. It's better to surprise. He definitely doesn't have any brains left over. Rolling something outside. So it's just very blessed. And, and we'll do something with this next turn. We're very likely also going to get like a rain. Y you want him to be looking to play, you know, leave over a brain when you play your forget me nots. Some, you know, ideally. Sometimes you just play the someone, right? But they've left over a brain then. You want, if they've committed all of their brains, don't just don't play the forget me nots. It'll get more value later. What do we do with this now? Okay, I'm going to commit you, and we'll either get a 4 or we'll do something with Rain to kill this later. Oh, that's very cool. When we get Bubble, this is very cool with, with Pecanal. I actually made a deck a long time ago that was based on that. I'm sucking on tea right now. In case you're wondering. Drink tea. So this does 3, 4. This is a good Rain. This is a very good rain. I'm gonna play this here. I'm gonna photo first. Let's see if we can get something better than than you. I I think this is fine. This is fine. We don't have to save the rain for well, we could have really not rained there. This is better. We're adding some, uh, some, uh, a lot of value to the field there. That's cool. Uh, really good card against Pecanolith, actually. So I hate to see it. Oh, the splash. Don't want this to get hit. God damn, that was a one in five. Ugh. Okay. Now what do we do? We could just, we can just... Man. I probably should just play Pecanolith, right? <sighs> this is rough! It's not really much else to do here. We gotta take this out before he gets too much value. Unexpected gifts he could play for four? Yeah, we just don't want him to ping. He plays Eureka for two! We don't want him to hit the Pecanolith. He, he usually does. Oh, okay. Now what? Swimmer is a 2-6, okay. He could have put that in the water. I don't know why he... This lives. Whew. Okay, the good news is we're able to kill this with the splash, but this is so slow. Oh no, the Pecanoth would have been dead, never mind. This has to go. Got some damage in this is still abusing us. Come on, man. I don't know. He just got that. So he commit a two drop gravestone. So I, we'll, we'll be able to do the star fruit here. This is a really good. Uh, the question is, should it be here? Should we put it somewhere else? He can't play any tricks, though. It might as well be here because block meter. This does a lot of uh, block damage, actually. Um, and we'll, we'll save the walnut. He's not. We have forget me nuts in the field still. So this this is a really good star for. This is when you got to do it. Is when they can overcommit zombies. 
Yes! <laughs> he killed three guys. So good. Such good. So good. I guess this proccing the block actually would have been beneficial. I didn't really think that through. What is he doing now? I don't know, man. It's just Triceratops. We don't have anything else to do. This is so sad to get these garbage cards from Photo and Primal. This is what we got from Primal. I guess that was good. Should I be playing around Teleport or something? Or Batmoon Rising and Walnut here? He has to go after the Starfruit, but that just costs one. This is probably worth it. It could bungee. Oh, he can't bamboo and rising though, because forget me nuts. Nice information. <sighs> We're still in good shape, especially if he doesn't have a removal card. Then this this becomes ten damage per turn, I mean it's ridiculous. My carrot top's kind of below average on turn 7. <laughs> really needed Pecanolith is what we needed there. He didn't have anything on set. Was he going for a Bad Moon Rising and he forgot? I think he forgot. Nothing removes this, by the way. I mean, unless he gets the Sumo. Summoning Sumo. <laughs> this is the, is the thing. He has summoning backup dancers and he's dead. Look at his star fruit. For the win, bro. Get wrecked. Eight damage. All right, that will definitely settle the bet now. Hell yeah. <laughs> and we'll play one more game for funsies. Oh my gosh. Guys, we're going for the 10 and 0 dream with a mirror nut deck. Don't ask. Don't even. Don't even ask. Dear God, I'm gonna distribute the bets momentarily. Oh man, it's another Immortitia. Love to love to see it. Should I go for? I, I think for the last game we'll go for the combo. Is this good though? This is not really play. It's a good card. We might end up comboing something with this. It'd be really nice to top deck a a what a one drop here. I guess this isn't going to be playable until turn 5, so we might as well mulligan it. Alright. It is fate. The answer is yes, so congratulations to the 50% of you who believed in this deck. <laughs> I certainly wouldn't have, uh, wouldn't have thought 9 and 0. That's a good card! Oh, too bad. The hard answer. So that's a good player right there. Know what he doing. Know what to do. Very sad. So we got two options. We can either go... Ooh, he committed. That's probably a teleportation zombie. Most is going to be is a loudmouth. Um, so I definitely want to commit. I think we're just going to go for the mirror nuts. We really have a lot in that department, so let's go. There's no way of dealing three damage to this guy. Guilty. I can back it up. So I think we go mirror nut, and we'll, and we'll, we'll just see what happens after that. We can set these up on five, man. I wonder if Amir not goes on heights. Okay. Uh, so we want to block the four. Do we want to block the four? See, we actually he we 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 we. we oh no no, he's not proccing anything. Sorry, he's not proccing our blocks this turn. How do we do this? I think the difference between taking one damage is not significant. So, I'm gonna take the four and then do all this. The one on the left is gonna hunt. Which is what we want. There's double mirror nut. We'll deal with this later. It's just four plus four equals eight, so I would rather take one extra damage to face and preserve the health on the mirror nuts and be able to just go after this. 
I'm probably just going to put Triceratops and Primal here. These are really difficult to deal with. Really difficult. Uh, nine, on the other hand. I got a bat right so lucky. Damn it! <laughs> Uh, double, double carrot. I think this is the time for this play. Oh, well. This one. Doesn't really matter. We're also propping the block this turn, which is cool. We actually have an, many ways to double things. Five. Acid. So okay, we do we we do survive here. Ah, uh, so hold on to that. It's kind of rough though. It's a good area. It means we, we can actually pull this out of the area. Uh, no, we can't though. Because it's on the right. Oh, how do we deal with this? Well, we can play the environment if you want. Yeah, there's no way to actually hunt this out. I didn't realize that Area 22, you have two hunts and the right one is always protected. That's weird. Gadget! What? It's this deck? It's this? Oh my gosh, this is the deck we did the other day in the stream. I wasn't even expecting it. Oh my gosh. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Um, well, it does the same thing, just keep it. Uh, holy smokes. How do we do this now? Um, uh, I'm scared, mommy. So we can survive with 4-1... Oh, no, we don't have two. Four, one, and then one, I guess. What's the other play? Four and two? We need to start doing some damage. I don't know. Oh, it means if he has a one drop, he wins, though. Whoops. Ah, uh, that was probably. Well, it would have been the same thing, yeah. Because two damage will win here anyway. In the pair. Okay. Uh, a gadget will win at any point for him. This is the deck we did the other day. It's the it's the get it's the maniacal. Actually, I just posted this on YouTube yesterday. So this is the this is. Thank you, myself here. Second gadget is what are you looking for? We have to play on Maniacal too. He has it though. Alright, we're nine and one. <laughs> I just got beaten by the deck I posted yesterday to YouTube. God damn it. <laughs> Guys, we went nine and one. Nine and one with the mirror nut deck. I think this did pretty well. I think for gummy nuts and triceratops, that's the way to go with mirror nut. They're both guardian cards, so. Imitator? I don't know. Remember Nana. Just do it with Citra. This was a great stream, though. Really great. Highlight filled stream. We somehow won 90%. Hope you guys enjoyed. That was amazing. Peace. This is Fry.